All right, so folks, today we're going to be looking at five different sodas, and we're going to try to answer the question, which of those five is the most acidic? So the five sodas we're going to be comparing is LaCroix, regular Sprite, which would be diet Sprite, ginger ale, 7-Up, and then this one's regular Sprite. And so the question we're going to try to answer is, which of these uh, five sodas is the most acidic? And the way we're going to do that is by adding a base to each soda in order to react it. And the idea is that an acid and a base will react and neutralize to produce water and then an ionic compound salt. And the more acid that we have in each of these sodas, the more base we'll need to add in order to neutralize it fully. Now, we could try using something like pH paper, but pH paper is only going to be accurate to the nearest whole number pH. And quite frequently, pH is better, you know, as we saw, it's a logarithmic scale. It's going to be a big difference between a pH of 3 and a pH of 4. That's going to be a change of 10 times. Okay, so a, that's not going to be accurate enough for what we're working here. So what we're going to do is add a 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So sodium hydroxide is our base. We're going to consistently measure out the volume of soda so that way we can compare how much base is added to each of them. Now, if I were to add base to a soda, it will neutralize the acid, but I won't know when all the acid has been neutralized. So what we're gonna do is add an acid-base indicator. Today, we're gonna to use phenylthaline. We saw this one in our properties of acids and bases lab. Phenylthaline, remember, is colorless in acidic solutions, but it's gonna turn pink in the presence of bases, okay? And so we're just gonna add one or two drops of this to our soda samples that we're gonna be reacting. This is what we call a titration where we try to figure out how much of an acid or base is present in something. And we'll learn more about titrations after spring break. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna add drop by drop base until we get the phenolphthalein to turn pink. Now this is something we also have to be careful with. If I add too much, I can overshoot that neutralization point that what we call the equivalence point, and end up with a dark pink. So I'm going to add it until I have got to a point where it is just pink, barely pink, um, and it stays pink consistently throughout. So we're going for that perfect shade of pink, a very, very light pink fuchsia. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with our regular Sprite, and I'm going to measure out five, uh, 10 milliliters. Of our sample. Again, we're going to be nice and consistent here because if we're not consistent, then we won't be able to get a fair comparison. Okay, so I've got 10 milliliters of Sprite. So that's this one here. Go ahead and pour that into our test tube. And then I'm going to add my couple of drops of phenolphthalein. One or two is more than enough. And I mix it, you can see that there is no color change. That's because phenolphthalein is colorless in the presence of an acid. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully add drop by drop. And normally you would not count this out, okay, out loud. You'd count it in your head. So we're going to count that out, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And at six, you can see that there's starting to turn pink at the top, but if I mix it, it goes away. Okay? And so that's showing us that it is starting to neutralize it, but it's not barely pink throughout. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna go ahead and mix. So notice it's staying pink a little longer at the top before going away. So we were at 20, 21, 22. Two, three, four, five, six. And it goes away. 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Notice it's staying pink a little longer each time. 
41. I'm not going to add as much each time now because it's starting at pink is starting to stay longer. That tells me we're getting closer to being neutralized. That was 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five. Let's see, it's starting to turn pink and stay pink at the top. It's not pink all the way through. So I'm just going to keep mixing it. That was fifty five. So we're really close. Maybe a drop or two. So I'm going to add 56, 57. And still, I'm going to color this at the bottom. So we're at 57, 58, 59. So again, we're looking for the faintest shade of pink. You can see how it's pink on the top, not quite pink on the bottom. So I'm just trying to mix that. So any extra acid that's in there neutralizes out. Let's see if 60 will do the trick. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. So we're looking for the faintest shade of pink that stays pink. So we'll call that 60 drops. And again, that was our, our diet sprite here. Or excuse me, that was our regular sprite. Okay. So next up, we're going to just repeat the same process for 7-Up. So again, I'm going to measure out 10 milliliters. Again, we want to do this as accurately as possible. So we have consistent sample sizes. Okay, so we're at 10 milliliters there. And again, add our phenolphthalein. This is a common mistake. Again, this is the 7-Up, by the way. Common mistake is to forget to add your phenolphthalein, and then you add all kinds of base and realize, hey, it's never turning pink. Well, usually you forgot to add your phenolphthalein. Okay. So got that there again. So this is our 7-Up. Our I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add probably about 5 to 10 drops this time just because we know the last one was about 60. So we're probably going to go a little bit faster this time until we get closer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you can see it's very pink at the top. As soon as I mix that, that goes away. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Lasted a little longer this time. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And it's definitely staying pink longer, but it is still going away. So I'm going to go a little slower now, about five at a time. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And it's gone, so that was 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. It's getting close. So it's definitely still pink on the top, but very much clear on the bottom, yeah. It's getting closer. So 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Still color this on the bottom. So I'm really trying to make sure I get that nice and mixed. And we're at 46. So 37, 48, 49. Let's see if that does the trick. And still kind of clear on the bottom. So 50, 51, 52. That will probably do it. Yeah, it's looking pretty. Looking at that, that's pretty, 
pretty much pink throughout, so 52. Okay. All right, so next up, we're going to take a look at ginger ale. And the ginger ale, you'll notice, has a little bit different color than the previous two we've been looking at. So again, I'm going to measure out my 10 milliliters. So this is, again, the ginger ale, 10 milliliters in, and add in our phenolphthalein, don't want to forget that, one, two, again, stays the same color, nice and consistent, and we're going to go ahead and add in our base, again, probably about 10 drops at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see it's starting to change color at the top, but quickly goes away. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And you can see that color change at the top. And it quickly goes away. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Starting to stay longer, like we would expect. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And it's definitely lingering more. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Starting to stay much longer. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. 75. It's not quite pink throughout, so it's just going to keep mixing. Yeah, so at 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 'll kind of colorless or still kind of that original color on the bottom so we have a few more drops 81 82 83 84 85 yeah I'm just looking at the top that's probably going to do it yeah that's not going to go away. I'm going to grab a stirring rod. We don't usually use stirring rods or choose another pipette to come and mix this up a little bit. Just so that it's getting all the way down to the bottom. Okay. All right. Yep. That's pink throughout. Okay. Actually, not quite even. So let's add five more. There we go. All right. There we go. That was our ginger ale. All right. Fourth one we're going to look at today is diet sprite. So 
Again, I'm going to measure out my 10 milliliters. Yeah, that's Diet Sprite. Pour that into our test tube. And so far, so good. Haven't forgotten phenolphthalein yet. Doesn't happen to me too often, but every once in a while. There's mistakes you just don't want to make. Okay. So you can see our Diet Sprite there. Again, I'm going to add. 10 at a time to begin with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goes away pretty quickly. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. See, it's gone. Let's slow down a little bit because that was starting to linger a little long. 41, 42, 43, 34, 45. Six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Let's see how that's a lot darker this time. I, this would be an example of kind of overshooting a little bit. Make sure it's really well mixed at the bottom. It can be really hard to get down to the bottom. I think we were at, probably just need a couple more. Yeah, it's like five more is going to do it. Nope, no, it's still going to keep going. I think that put us at 55. So 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I'm just going to mix that. That pink is definitely staying a lot longer this time. Probably be yeah, maybe three more. Sixty six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Okay. And then our last one is our LaCroix. Limoncello flavored LaCroix. So measuring out our 10 milliliters. Put that into our test tube. Add our phenolphthalein. Mixed. And go ahead and add in our our base. So one, two, three, four, five. That's really turning pink quickly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. 
18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 40. It's right 40. The reason I wasn't adding this as fast as I noticed it was turning really pink right away. So I slowed down. So we're at 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. That right, might do it, or it'll be very close. I think it's going to be very close. So 45. 6, 47, 48, 48. See, it's lingering. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, is going to do it. Yeah, that's pretty much need two more. 56, 57. Yeah. So I probably should have stopped at 55. So notice that it got pretty dark here. So we'll call that one. We'll split the difference and call it 56. Okay. Now, I also want to show you why we're stopping when we get just pink. So you can see that that's just pale pink there. If I add just a bunch, notice how dark that gets. So we want to avoid that really dark, deep, dark fuchsia. And we want that faintest shade of pink. So you can really see just how dark that can get. That's what we call overshooting. So again, we want that very light shade of pink that stays pink, not that dark kind of fuchsia. Now, based on our data that we collected, one of the things you're going to think about is which of these five sodas was the most acidic and which of these five was the least acidic.